We're here at a property that the Urban Conservation Unit has been working with, um, an HOA, or Homeowners Association. And this HOA has made some really great changes through the rebate program. First, they added an ET controller, which will adjust the irrigation based on local weather conditions. And then they replaced their sprinklers with drip irrigation. So if you follow me, I can show you that, an example of that. Um, like most properties, they have a, a lot of shrubs and those shrubs were originally irrigated with sprays. Now those sprays aren't the most efficient thing to irrigate this with because it sprays the leaf of the plant and then it also doesn't cover all the roots. It ends up getting a lot more water on the parking lot or street than it does on the actual roots of the plant. Now the other problem with overhead sprinklers for this type of plant is that shrubs and trees don't generally like to have their leaves wet for prolonged periods of time or frequently. So that can cause a lot of diseases and shrubs, and it's best to have water applied just to the roots of the plant, which is the point of the drip. So when we're applying water, it's just being put right here where the roots are, and none of the leaves are getting wet. We're also applying the water more slowly so we control exactly how much water we're putting out. Now this drip line, what's great about it is it's got inline emitters. You can see one here, and basically that is inside the tubing, and it's at set intervals. You can buy it at different intervals. I believe this one's 12 inches, so every 12 inches there's another emitter. One concern for a lot of people with drip irrigation is clogging. Um, so it's really important when you install drip to also install, install a filtration device, especially on um, well water systems. So if you're watering from a well or a lake or a retention pond, filtration is essential. Another issue can be pressure. You want to make sure you don't have too much pressure running through this line because it can affect how you're applying the water. So pressure regulation on the irrigation line where the drip is is really important. Okay, so the reason we like to see drip installed instead of spray type sprinklers for shrubs is because in general shrubs and trees have a very different water requirement than grass. Grass needs to be irrigated more frequently. Um, it's got a shallower root system so it needs to be irrigated with less water when it is irrigated. And then shrubs can go longer between irrigation events. So two rules. Shrubs and trees should be on a different zone than grass and they should be irrigated with drip ideally instead of sprays. So this is where the sensor was installed for the ET controller. It's got a rain gauge and a temperature sensor and it's going to use those to modify the irrigation schedule or how long the irrigation is going to run. If you're interested in these devices or want to learn more, check out our other video about ET controllers.